This is the story of a ragtag bunch of church members who set out to perform a Christmas play, and the director who tried his hardest to just keep it all together. The Glory of Christmas. There's a little bit of controversy over my choice to cast Tony as the wise man in our church nativity play, because, well, Tony can sometimes be... Yep, that's... That's some good birch. Birch? Why would they use birch? It's not even indigenous to Israel. Did Tony's just a little bit of a know-it-all. Hmm. Did occasion not even cross your mind? That's probably birch. Potato salad is of German origin, brought over here by European settlers. You know, fascinating point. The carb load on that is 37 grams. Great for uh, marathon runners. There's no doubt that Tony knows a lot of useless facts, but when he doesn't know something? Now, of all the wise man's gifts, myrrh was the most profound. He's used to prepare a body for burial. What does real myrrh smell like? Uh, I imagine it has like a lush floral scent. Nah, it's woodsy, warm, aromatic. Busky. Oh, uh, my mom leads the essential oils small group. Hmm. But there's a certain something about Tony, something that he doesn't even see about himself. Put your shoulder into it so it doesn't strip the head. That's like... Hey, well done. That's good. <laughs> good job. Tony has the kind of heart that understands where the real treasures are. What they are, who they are. And he understands the King of Kings came first as the lowly servant. This baby, this beautiful gift, this is the glory of God, the glory of Christmas, who would eventually sacrifice himself for us. For me, well, let's just say, with that kind of knowledge, you can never approach the manger quite the same way again. That's why he's the wise man.